We have previously noted the many striking correlations between the astrological planet Saturn and the World Trade Center complex in New York. Correlations of a structural, symbolic and esoteric nature both before and after the tragic events of September the 11th 2001. Correlations which seem more than just mere mundane chance. Ancient history is replete with symbolic freestanding twin structures which often depict a deity at their center or that simply stand as mysterious markers like a gateway to some other unknown world beyond. In the book The Golden Dawn which claims to hold the entire magical teachings of the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn, whose members included self-proclaimed beast Alistair Crowley, it is claimed that therein lies an explanation of the symbols of the grade of the neophyte, which clarifies the mystical meaning of the two pillars. As the book continues, a magical ritual of the two pillars is outlined and it is explained to the beginner that the mysterious and magical motif of the two pillars have many names and many historical origins. One of which, we are told, is from the Egyptian north and south columns of the gate of the Egyptian Hall of Truth, reminding us instantly of the north and south twin structures of the World Trade Center complex. Furthermore, in 33 degree mason Manley P. Hall's writings, The Secret Teachings of All Ages, more mention is made of the twin Egyptian obelisks which are interchangeable with all the other twin structures throughout history. Hall asserts that the obelisks before the sanctuaries of Egypt have the same symbolic import as the biblical twin pillars of Boaz and Jackin of Solomon's Temple. Monuments to which can be seen depicted with the as above, so below, compass and square motif, symbolic of the seal of Solomon, the magical representation of the planet Saturn, which was in Gemini, astrological sign of the twins on 9-11-2001. In the King James Bible, Boaz and Jackin are described as each being decorated with checker work, and the very same detail is seen surrounding the symbolic pillars in every Freemasonic hall. In the same biblical chapter, Boaz and Jackin are described as being decorated with pomegranates, a feature prominently seen surrounding the Tarot Pack's High Priestess, who sits between the very same pillars. The card can also be seen with the familiar twin numeral or Gemini symbol at its top. Boaz and Jackin magically represent polarity, polarities of dark and light, female, male, birth and death, and the interchangeable north and south, again reminding us instantly of 9-11's twinned structural centerpiece. In the secret teachings of all ages, Hall states that in the mysterious Sephirothic tree of life, these two pillars symbolize severity and mercy. The tree of life is of course the Kabbalah, a multi-symbolic magical map of consciousness whose sephira or spheres incorporate the planets of astrology which are linked by magical paths each ruled by one of the tarot packs 22 major arcana cards. The two Masonic pillars Boaz and Jackin are interchangeable with the two outer columns on the tree of life as highlighted here. As Hall stated, they are known as severity and mercy, more examples of their polarity, as noted earlier. 
the complete tree of life is interchangeable with another Freemasonic tracing board as seen here, which is orientated by the letters E for East and W for West at the top and bottom, which consequently orientates the two outer columns of Boaz and Jackin with North and South, giving us another direct hit with the North and South Twin Towers of 9-11's World Trade Center. Were these twin towers really built to reflect the magical motif of the ancient pillars Boaz and Jackin? Were they built to magically represent the knowledge encoded in the Kabbalah? If so, then where is the middle pillar? At the base of World Trade Center 1 and 2, as well as this strangely Egyptian looking pyramidal structure was this, a fountain feature known locally to lynching New Yorkers as the Sphere. Standing between the two twin towers the Sphere was commissioned simultaneously as work began at the World Trade Center site in the 1960s seemingly integral to the complex's original design. The Sphere's actual artistic title is the great spherical caryatid named by its designer Fritz Koenig. A caryatid architecturally is a replacement pillar or column and as the caryatid stood between the two towers our replacement column would first translate to this, then to this and eventually to this giving us our missing mystical column. Is all this just mere chance, synchronicity, or the result of more than just a little help from a hidden helping hand? When Nelson Rockefeller opened the Twin Towers in 1973, he stated that the Twin Towers were a great marriage of utility and beauty. A definition of utility is designed for strength. Was this Rockefeller quote code for the two Freemasonic pillars also known as strength and beauty? The great spherical caryatid or symbolic middle pillar was set to rotate once every 24 hours, the length of an earth day. It was also made of 52 pieces of bronze the alloy used to forge the original twin pillars, Boaz and Jackin. There are 52 weeks in an earth year. This gives the caryatid or middle pillar a strong resonance with the planet Earth, and on the Tree of Life, the Earth rules the 10th Sephira, situated at the bottom of the middle pillar. This 10th Sephira is known as Malkuth and is said to resonate strongly with the 1st Sephira at its opposite extreme, known as Kether. In fact, it is said Kabbalistically of these two spheres that Malkuth is in Kether and Kether is in Malkuth, or, put more simply, as above, so below. They are interchangeable. This leaves us with little doubt that the spherical, symbolic caryatid is the third pillar at the World Trade Center Monument to Magic. On the Tree of Life, Malkuth, the Earth Sephira, is the tenth Sephira. Malkuth means kingdom, and within Malkuth lies the gate which leads to the other nine spheres upon the tree. This gate leads to the pathway which is ruled by the World Tarot Card, which relates to the planet Saturn. The symbol for Saturn, the cross, is called the Tau, which is represented Kabbalistically by the letters TH, reminding us instantly of the poster for the Tenth Kingdom with the same motif, in which a magical gate opens between the Tenth Kingdom, New York Earth, and the other nine kingdoms, magically informing us that even if you may not, some do believe in magic. <laughs>